I almost wasn't going to do a video on this game to be honest, as I just didn't know where to start or what to say about it. Which is weird because I love this game, and usually I just can't shut up about the games that I love. But its procedural high score nature and the fact that I sucked at it left me with little to say about it bar yeah it's pretty dope. But seeing as a developer gave me a download key for the game, I felt a little bad about that. I mean, the key was given without any pressure or expectations, and more out of thanks for my vocal support of the game on Twitter, but still I felt like I had to do something with it. So for a moment I was considering just making a short 2 minute-ish video for Twitter, so I at least had something to show for it. But it was during my gameplay capturing sessions for that video that the game really started to click for me. I started getting better at the game and hence started to discover more of the cool aspects that it offered. And it was there at that moment that I realized, damn, I do have a lot to say about this game actually. It managed to trigger the natural response I usually have towards games that I really freaking adore which is setting my brain into ADHD overdrive, leaving me with nothing to think about but this game. So, let's talk about it, I guess. Now, I couldn't possibly talk about Nyx Umbra and just glaze over the unique look it has. Then again, there isn't much I can add to what you're seeing right now with your own eyes, because quite honestly, the aesthetics here speak for themselves and they speak volumes. What I will add though is that this game immediately managed to capture my imagination when I first laid eyes upon the first gameplay footage I saw of it. The claustrophobic vibe that eerie looking forest filled with dangers but also lovely sights to behold, the blackened sky filled with these charming pentagon stars and witches on brooms whizzing by, it all looks as terrifying as it is quite charming at the same time. So yeah, to say it has a unique look to it is most likely the understatement of the year. The monochromatic and psychedelic nature of the visuals make for a striking aesthetic that had me head over heels in love with it before I was even able to play it. But this is where I'm going to conclude the vibe section, not because I feel I have little to say about it, I have a lot to say about it actually, but because in Nyx Umbra a lot of the vibe is intrinsically tied to its game feel. So. Let us move to that section and find out, shall we? So, Nyx Umbra, what kind of game is this even? Well, I find it hard to describe in any even remotely accurate manner. Hell, it's even hard to just figure out what's even going on during your first playthrough as you're being bombarded with trippy special effects and sudden deaths all around. It's all quite overwhelming at first, and this is definitely not helped with the limited visibility you have of your surrounding area, with the only source of light being the radiant sword you carry which casts a pathetic radius of light around yourself. And it's exactly this that makes it all feel like an intensely claustrophobic and tense experience. This combined with the monochromatic visuals makes it feel akin to how you feel while wandering all alone through a forest at night time, where it has you constantly being startled by the slightest noise you hear. Except here in Nyx Umbra, you damn well know it's not gonna be a damn squirrel. But to return to that first question. What kind of game is this even? Well, I've heard it described as a Devil Daggers like game, and yeah, that comes closest as to any way to somewhat accurately describe Nyx Umbra. 
It is, after all, a procedurally generated, score-based, time attack kinda game where you'll defend yourself from incoming waves of enemies. But despite that ringing true, due to it being more realistically grounded both in your movement speed and limited offensive capabilities, Nix Umbra manages to feel more substantial and less like a simple high score attack. And it's this that makes the game feel more like a proper experience, rather than something you just pop out for a quick fix. Nix Umbra feels more like an adventure you went on, because it'll leave you with anecdotes about the things you saw and discovered, despite the round maybe lasting only about 3 minutes. Such is its wonderful sense of discovery, wherein not only will you encounter new, not before seen sights or power ups, but also that sense of discovery, wherein you slowly but surely figure out how the game actually works, because nowhere is this explicitly explained to you. Rather, it is up to you to deduce from what you've learned from past plays. And that discovery is going to be very important, because the game is very oblique in what it wants from you. But it's exactly here where the game shines. Because yes, you will be shit at it at first, as you find yourself being simply overwhelmed by all that is going on. But because the game will feed you bits of new power-ups piecemeal, while you get better through recognition and repetition, it will suck you into this addictive gameplay loop, as you last increasingly longer each round and discover new power-ups. Nick's Umbra sure was a trip to experience, as my first few stabs at it left me feeling confused as to what even was going on. I found it all very intriguing for sure, the visuals, the mystery of it all, but it did seem rather oblique in what it expected of me, but in the best most mysteriously appealing way, because after all, half of the fun in Nix Umbra is in the discovery and learning process, in finding out what it is that it wants you to do. And I'm still trying to figure it all out. As I've seen other players achieve and encounter things I've yet to see during a playthrough. And I love it. I love that it doesn't hold my hand and trust in my capabilities to be able to figure it all out myself. I love that I still haven't seen all the game has to offer and it has me excited to unearth all this stuff that I've yet to uncover. I just really love Nix Umbra and the sense of curiosity it ignited within me. So, that's it for me then. But remember, if you like my content, then please subscribe to the channel for future content and don't forget to give the video a like. And if you want to support the channel in growing further, then please consider donating to my Patreon for early access to my videos, lots of extra content, access to the Discord channel, and having your name appear in the credits right here. But if you don't want to be chained down by a subscription model, then you can always donate just the one time on my Ko-fi. Both of which are linked right down there in the description. Well. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next time!